Good day, everybody out there in YouTube Landia. As you can see, scattered before us today, we're going to talk a little bit about squares. It's funny because when you're young, you don't really think much about it. Just like, hey, this isn't a square, this is a triangle. So, haha. Uh -huh. Anyways, a square, speed square, a rafter square, framing square, whatever you want to call it, <coughs> really helps you out on the job site um and i don't really want to showcase this guy right here today uh you know there's when it comes to squares you've got cheap you can buy at harbor freight for like two bucks uh you've got let's see what what's this one this one's an empire you can see that right there main reason i bought that one uh and it was fairly inexpensive around seven eight dollars i think probably before covid it's been used a little bit. The one that I used the most was actually, ironically, my Harbor Freight one that I bought for probably two or three dollars, but uh, it decided to walk off the other day, so I decided to use that as an excuse to replace it with something a little bit more better. A bit more pricier, let me say that. I got a little bit of dirt on it already. Look at that. Check that out. So I've used it to build a set of steps a few days ago, and it's a nice piece. It's got the built-in level that you can see from the top or the bottom. I mean, pretty much all four sides. Uh, hip slash valley rafters, common rafters, protractor. Uh, I really do like that it has eighth inch scribe marks as well as quarter halves. But the eighth inch, you don't really see very much. I mean, this guy right here, which is one, I mean, it is it it is what it is. If you use them, you use them. It's kind of one of those things that um, if you don't have them, eh, you, don't, you don't miss them. But if you do have one and then you don't have them, you definitely miss them. Uh, some people call these a bat wing. I've heard these things called all kinds of different name because, names because they're bigger. Um, they don't, you know, you don't carry that around in your, in your uh, nail belt. But uh, this guy right here is very handy to have to hang on your sawhorse. So if you need something bigger, you can pull it out. And it looks like this has uh, scribe marks every quarter inch. Looks like our first one starts out at maybe inch and a half. Or not inch and a quarter. Looks like we don't have one at inch and a half. Inch and three quarters. Two inches. Yeah, so about every quarter inch. And this is a Empire. I think I bought those both at the same time. I think I bought both these two at the same time because they were made in America. Um, I try to buy American-made products and, you know, give a little bit of money to American-made manufacturing uh, whenever I can. But, you know, getting back to the, this is called, this is called a Trig Jig RSA 7 Fixed. Uh, if you guys have not checked these out yet, I would check them out. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of Martinez Tools. Uh, Mark Martinez. I've never met him in person. I have talked with him over social media a few times. He's a great guy. He makes great products. He really does. Um, and there's nothing wrong with the Martinez Square. Uh, but I figured I just wanted to kind of be the odd man out and try this trig jig. Um, this product I think was around ninety-seven dollars uh, U.S. delivered to my door. Now I know. Hey, mate, that's made in Britain. Uh, but nevertheless, this is a ve this is a very good quality product. Uh, I don't mind supporting our cousins over in uh, in Britain. Uh, I don't generally buy Chinese made products. I try to stay from those, stay away from those as much as I can. But uh, nevertheless, you know this guy here delivers good, sharp, crisp movement. I mean, it, it's got a very nice. I believe they call that a heel. Um, let's pull this line here. And you know, we've got our eighth, like I said, every eighth inch, got our scribe marks. It glides very good. Um, you know, 
there are some people, uh, there, there's some people that like woodpecker. Um, woodpecker is another fairly expensive speed square. But this guy here, like I said, it fits right in my nail belt. Fits very well. Works very well for, you know, I haven't used it a lot. I did drop it in the mud, as you guys can see. Uh, but, hey, when I buy stuff, I buy it to use. I don't buy it just to sit on the shelf. So, plum cut, uh, notch. I mean, it's it's got more stuff on it than I would ever know how to use. But, um, you know, you can cut uh, bird's beak. Bird's beaks with them. You can cut trim with them. And it's just an all-around, you know, it's it's a beefy piece of metal. And you can tell that this is, of course, it may have had a little bit of machining. But by and large, this is just a stamped piece of aluminum. Um, you know, little little piece right here, little I-beam here, and then a clunk here, one here, one here. Maybe runs through a, a CNC machine to clean these edges up so they don't cut you. But uh, for the most part... Um, you know, this is just a, a stamp piece of aluminum. Uh, it's a good grade of aluminum. You know, it's it's very sturdy. Uh, you're not going to bend it. You're not going to break it if you're using it as intended. But yet again, the price point. This one here, $7. This one here, 97 or thereabout. So you can take your pick there. Um, but, you know, some, some might say, well, hey, this one here does the exact same thing. Yep, yeah, quite possibly so. But as I said, I think the more and more I'll get into it, you see right here, this guy here has, has the markings. Looks like you got probably, uh, looks like about a, let's see, inch and a half, two inch markings. So you can mark something there, you know, for your offsets. Maybe if you're laying out a wall with it. Maybe if you're doing like a two stud corner or something like that. But uh, all in all, I'm very impressed with this. Very impressed with the build quality. Uh, the only thing that I would say that could, that they, they would need to improve upon this was the turnaround time uh, from order to uh, delivery parts in hand. I really, really wish that I could have gotten it a little bit quicker, but it did take about 12 to 13 days from the time that uh, the money was withdrawn from my account to actually getting a product in hand. So this isn't something that you're not gonna find it on Amazon Prime, or at least if you can, I haven't been able to find them. But uh, it is a very fine product, works very well. Looks like you got a little rafter, uh, rafter table here. Rafter length in inches per foot of run. So got a little bit of knowledge on there for that one as well. And also, last but not least, I've got a little trim square here. Uh, you know, I do like these Milwaukee squares. Uh, I know some people really do like them. I've noticed that um, on the heel, I guess you would call it, you've got a short one and then you've got a deep one. I, I, do, I do prefer the, the longer side of the heel because it latches onto something a little bit better. It slides, it's anodized. It's, you know, I mean, it's obviously anodized aluminum. So it slides or glides a little bit better on, uh, on a piece of pine or a piece of wood, which, I mean, most people around where I live at, most people that do any kind of work, construction, they're going to be using SPF, you know, spruce, pine, or fir, and most of the stuff is going to be pine that we run into. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to cut that one off. Hey, you know, I'd like to I'd like to do more content like this. If you guys have any questions, shoot it below down there in the comments. Direct uh, message me through you know send me a message through YouTube. Uh, if you guys would like to see more content, if you have any ideas or anything that you'd like to see me talk about, um, shoot a comment. Be glad to be glad to oblige any way I can. Till the next time, stay dry. We'll talk later.